Several people have been indicted recently on felony charges after knowingly possessing and then trying to pass counterfeit money. And several local agencies are saying they're seeing the same thing, including the Pikeville Police Department. Uh, we've had a little bit of a, a surge of it here lately. Um, one of the things that we found is that uh, counterfeit money is very popular in the drug trade. Um, because you know they can pass it and they're going to get their drugs for spending the counterfeit money and they're not out anything and they still get their drugs. One of the things we like to tell everybody to be aware of is, is if you do sell something, of course everybody sells things on Facebook or uh, you know you meet someone in a parking lot and you sell it. Um, if you do sell those, make sure to look at the cash that you're given. Uh, just take a quick glance at it because just looking at this money uh, that we have here right quick, you wouldn't notice it. Um, right quick that it was counterfeit but if you look and just take just a second to inspect it you'll notice that uh, and this is what we're seeing uh, most recently is uh, it'll have Chinese writing on it. This hundred dollar bill uh, at first glance you don't notice much about it not being a real hundred, authentic hundred dollar bill however when you turn it over to this side you'll notice that it's got Chinese writing on one side. And some will even take extra steps to remove that Chinese writing. You'll notice that it looks washed out a little bit on this side. So it looks like it's either been washed or it's been worn. So you can see where they tried to wash it off on that one. And on the back, I have the Chinese writing. The big question everyone asks is what happens if I'm given a counterfeit bill and I don't know it, only for it to be detected when I try to use it at a store? They're going to contact the local police, the state police, sheriff's department, or us. Um, they're going to contact us and we're going to come out and we're going to, um, of course, start an investigation. So we're going to interview you and talk to you about where you got the bill from, uh, how you uh, acquired it, uh, who, you who you acquired it from, and then we're going to take that bill. Uh, if you do receive one of those, uh, call us, the Sheriff's Department or the State Police, and just let us come out and take a look at it and let us know where you got it from.